the internet. Good morning and happy Monday. Oh, Monday. I don't have my coffee yet. Why am I making a video? I don't know. <laughs> no, I do know. Um, I've been asked a question and I thought that I would answer it on my channel for anybody else who's wondering. And the question that I was asked is why don't dentures have 32 teeth? We all have 32 teeth, adult teeth, in our mouths um, and the dentures most often don't. Well, there's actually a pretty simple answer for that. My teeth, my immediate dentures have uh, 24 teeth. They have 12 on the bottom and 12 on the top. This is because when they were made, they were made with swelling in mind and there's not a lot of room in there for four more teeth, five, six, seven, eight more teeth, because I can math on Monday before coffee. There's not a whole lot of room in there when your gums are swollen from having your extractions for, you know, a lot of extra molars. Um, so my immediates have tw uh, 12 teeth on top and 12 teeth on bottom. My intermediate, what I'm calling intermediate dentures, the ones that I've just ordered from J.O.'s Denture Lab, will have 28 teeth on them. Now, before your wisdom teeth come in, you have 28 teeth. The other four is what makes it 32. Most human beings don't have room in their jaw or room in their mouth for four more teeth, those third molars. So most of us will have them extracted when they first start coming in or before they start coming in because a lot of them are impacted. A lot of them are going to cause an issue in some other way. So we just have them removed. <clears throat> I'm hoping that eventually evolution will take care of that problem and uh, one day future generations will only be born with 28 teeth and <laughs> that would be great. Um, so my so my next set of dentures has as many teeth as I have room in my mouth for and that's 28. Um, so uh, yeah this is a short video wow I hope that answers your questions. Um, I did get my well, I didn't get them, but I've got pictures of my wax try-ins from J.O.'s Denture Lab, and I am so excited to get this wax try-in and have a look and see how it looks in my mouth. Now, I'm not worried too much about where the gum line is right now. The wax try-in is for fit, and so um, I understand that the gum line is a little bit high on the one side, and that's fine with me, uh, so long as my final denture doesn't look that way, and it won't. Um, but this is to try it in and make sure that you know, the impression that I sent was good and that he got a good, a, a good fit on the dentures from the impression so that he can go ahead and make the permanence. And also just to check tooth placement and make sure that the midlines are right because, again, midline's not right here. See, it points at this tooth. There's my midline right there. It's right over top of this tooth. That's wrong. See there? Wrong, 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 wrong. And the new ones won't look like that. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm super excited about that. He said he was mailing them today, so I should get them within three days, which makes me happy, 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 joy, joy, joy. Uh, anyway, enough of the Ren and Stimpy celebration. So, um, that's all that I have for today. Um, what about you? Did you have your wisdom teeth out when you were young? Did you do like me and not have them out? When I didn't have mine out, it caused a lot of problems in my mouth. So I'm hoping that if you still have your wisdom teeth that you are supposed to, um, leave me a comment. I'd love to read and, and respond to every single one. That's all I've got for you for today. Until tomorrow when I have a fresh new video for you guys, everybody take care of each other. Keep smiling and keep being awesome.